What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing a Go Nuts deck. This is a hard card to pull off because there's two reasons. First of all, it requires you to play a lot of team-ups, and team-ups are typically understanded plants. So you're going to need to put plants that both have team-up and also really are good independently. They can really serve a different function in order for you to win. The other problem with Go Nuts is that it's a three cost two two, so it can be removed by extinction event, bungee plumber, you name it, uh, very easily. So playing this on the board early, let's say on turn three, you know, it can get removed before you're able to even able to play all those team ups and get the value from that. We're really solving both of those issues uh, by running ramp. We're running uh, a huge amount of ramp with team ups. The sunflower, the twin sunflower, will be giving you two extra sun. And the Sunnier Shroom, which will also give you two extra sun. And this really alleviates both of those problems. Because, first of all, these ramp cards are good independently, even without the Gonuts. Uh, there's a lot of very cool plays, like Sunflower on one. And you can play your Mixed Nuts on turn two. two you know, basically a turn two, four, four, which is ridiculous. You can also ramp to Brainana. You can ramp to Cobb Cannon, which really does benefit from all the team-ups in this deck. Uh, because that will be part of its evolution. Play this on top of a team up and you get the free destroy a zombie. So the Cobb Cannon is a justification. I really wanted to run another solid win condition that you can win with, even if you don't get your Go-Nuts. And that's the Dark Matter Dragon Fruit. The other problem about setting up the Go-Nuts early and getting destroyed before you get value is also theoretically solved by Ramp. Because if you, let's say, are playing, the, you play Sunny or Shroom, so you're now going to be making six suns. So you're able to play the go nuts plus play, a, you know, one or two, sometimes even three other team ups that same turn. So before the zombies get even a chance to remove this with the trick, uh, the go nuts will already be leaving a lot of value on the board. I think the brain end also helps the go nuts strategy because you end up well with all these high attack, low health minions, which are easily cleared by tricks. The brain nano will prevent your opponent from playing tricks that turn, so you do have the synergy there. I guess dragon also prevents <laughs> uh, the opponent from playing tricks that turn, but this is just a more proper finisher. We're experimenting with uh, different. Um, team up cards. One card that I hardly ever use is Laser Cattail. We'll see if this is worth it in this deck. It's possible that, like, playing Laser Cattail, let's say you go like three, two, and a one, let's say on turn six. So then Laser Cattail will already be like a, a five, two. And then, if they, you know, if you team this up with the Go Nuts, like you try to maybe team this up with a card that they really do want to remove, that will enable, you know, you to be able to play another card uh, on, in the same lane as the Laser Cattail, and it will. Um, It'll grow again, again, every single time you're playing any plant here. We'll see if that works. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the game. So we'll keep an eye also if Shellery is better maybe than Colonel Pult might be the better card. Shellery being a 2-1, so it's a little bit more power. Colonel Pult has a better ability, obviously. Shellery has no ability other than being team up. Uh, we'll keep an eye on also if there's enough late game for this much ramp. Um, I think the mulliganing, and I'll do the bets in a second, but I'm pretty sure the mulligan strategy is just try to get go nuts every time because the deck really does excel a lot more when you have go nuts we're just gonna basically hard mulligan for that is it worth getting rid of our one drops not very good into brainstorm anyway so we ended up with terrible early game and plenty of late game but these brain nanas are very good against brainstorm so we'll see if we can leverage that to our advantage thank you so much to swags for gifting five subs really appreciate that and let's get into the bets. If you think we are going to win, <laughs> six out of eight pushing it. I'm going to say for a go nuts deck, I'm going to be very happy with five out of eight. So if you think this deck is going to win five out of eight, but yes, four out of eight is going to be a no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry them up. We'll set the bar a little, a little low today. Uh, this cattail on the on heights is actually not bad. I don't have to play this with the water. It really does set up the mixed nuts. So we're gonna have like seven attack in this lane next turn, which is ridiculous. The good news is the opponent really overcommitted with the. Uh, this came from like a summoning. Okay, not a bad summoning. So the go nuts I think goes in front, and that'll enable the cattail to grow again if he can deal with the four health. Oh, we got the go nuts. I mean, go nuts and mix nuts here, which is kind of neat. So this will go here. Saves the cattail. Love to see it. 
Let's go. So these two will trade, I suppose. I think it's just ramp and we kill the paparazzi. This looks pretty good. Either able to cob or bring down the next turn. Should be fine. That's okay though. That's uh, trading a three drop for a three drop. Then our two drop trades with with his essentially, <laughs> and then uh, we get the ramp. We are getting the ramp. Cob, dry cob isn't terrible here. The brain end is only draining two brains, so let's just go dry cob and go fast. Uh. Again, the moment we get one or two more little team ups, we'll try start spreading the go nuts around. <clears throat> We're doing okay. Oh wow, dragon's a huge pickup here. This thing tells me this is just going to be the dragon deck. I think we do this in one. It's pretty good. It prevents him from drawing a card. Also kills these two, and we'll get the six damage either way. So, all right. Well, ramp to dragon is one and zero. Oh. <laughs> we'll see if we can. You know, we ended up getting a little bricked our starting hand with all the brain Anna, so uh, but we weren't really ended up having an ideal go nuts play. But that probably will not be the case for the future games. So far, so good. What's the plan against early game con mans and stuff like that? I think it's just ramp. I mean, it's possible that like the catch a mechanic would be better than 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 go nuts or than uh, than mix nuts. I'm gonna mix those up a lot today. Guess we'll keep this against the early pirate aggression, right? Let's tell you that. Um, I'm gonna spam this. Let's see if we can pull it off. It'll be good with the, uh, the mixed nuts. Worst case scenario, he's gonna have to spend his whole turn removing this anyway. I would think this deck would be called Ramp to Nothing. Ramp to Nothing, there you go. Wow, so that's a really weird play. But since he's hard committing already on three, I mean, I, I could punish this in two ways. One would be three into four. The other way would be like three into like six. I'm not seeing it. I think we set this up now. to set up a second go nuts now fire rooster uh it makes it a little bit awkward here like we could just play this first and then set this up i 
I don't want to play this first because then the fire rooster messes it up. We also could just weed whack. Why don't we weed whack and just play another go nuts? Play doesn't have another fire rooster. We are able to obviously utilize the uh, the go nuts here. I think the high attack we want to go here. So let's play these two. Come on, man. All right, we can still keep this one alive. It's like a splash there. Pretty good. I think there the Colonel Pole definitely would have been better, but honestly, I think it's just Colonel Pole instead of Laser Cat. <laughs> Laser's been okay. So it's here three three one or one six. So we're always playing the sunflower here. Huh? Depends how much he commits, I guess. If he doesn't, if he leaves over a lot of brains, we brain Anna. There's really not much left to be gained from the Gonuts living, so I think let's just go face with these. This will, this one one will take this out. I think this is correct. <sighs> not a very huge binary stars. Should have six damage here. Love this trade. You know, cash in on the go nuts and don't invest anything more into keeping it alive. Let's make some good trades in three and four, go face otherwise, and we have Brain Anna she hopefully closes so This actually wins with the shell right now. Just do these in one. It's kinda guaranteed lethal. <laughs> kind of. Huge pickup actually. Honestly, this this is probably better than Dragon here. Look how good this is. Guarantee. Got him. Uh, so far, the Shellery, I mean, like, Colonel Paul there would not have been as good. I guess let's keep this deck the way it is. Try a couple more games. Yeah. And it's kind of nice, even though, like, the, that game, the Go Nuts, really did perform pretty well. The first game, we didn't even play Go Nuts, but it's nice that the deck can win. You always want to have two ways of winning. You can't rely just on one card, Go Nuts, in order to win, you know? We did do, like, Go Nuts 3 Nuts with uh, Citron, and that actually did pretty well. But, uh, yeah, I like having the dragon. I think we're still, I mean, this is a very good, I mean, it's not, oh, okay, well, we're definitely all getting you. This is rough, like, uh, I don't know how we can even play Sunflower into Morticia. We kind of can't. Like, should I do this now? No, we have to kill this thing. I don't know, man. This usually just dies for free to a summoning a bat to beam me up. So I'm gonna be patient here. Not try to force anything. Uh, now it might be time. Is 
it's either kite flyer. It, it, teleportation zombie probably would play a strength. It'd be gentle, man. I think I'm gonna go with like. This is weird, but I'm gonna play her on kite flyer. I don't know why. That works though. We'll trade our two drop for his three drop, and we get the sunflower and can set up the the mix nuts now. That actually worked really well. Dun 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 There's no real need to weed whack that, so let's just save our resources, play mix nuts in front, and we'll have to weed whack for something better later probably. Wow. Grabbing it. But if he plays that card, you know, in lane four, we can actually re wag and kill it. I'll have five health and go down to three. That's a really sad bat. So I'm happy I've been playing around that. Um, we're up to six, so we can actually set up another Go Nuts right into Dragon if he can't deal with any of this ramp. So we're in really decent shape. I don't actually care. I do not care. Dragon probably goes in one, so let's just do it like this. Again, he played bad, so he can't have acid rain. He could have nibble or something. Rocket. That's great. It's dragon time, babies. <laughs> uh, it's really cool how he rocketed this one, because now dragon in one will kill this before it attacks, but... Dragon in three might end up being better, especially if he plays into four. We actually have nine, so we have Dragon Weed Whack now. That's ridiculous. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom. Uh, we can go down two brains next turn and still play Dragon, right? We'll have ten. Minus two is eight, so I'm actually going to do this to face. We can always deal with whatever this is next turn. The ramp dying is not important. The important thing is us getting face. Going here is like a 10 damage swing. It's minus 6 to face. And well, and then 4 damage onto our dragon. I guess that wouldn't be face, but uh. Yeah, second dragon is just gonna put this man away. He's sneezing. Who cares? <laughs> So we'll go face with that, kill the chemist for free. And uh, usually win here. Yoink! Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I have no regrets. No regrets. talk about something right now in a general sense instead of responding to the one person uh, I'm just gonna talk about again how to have consideration when you're at someone's stream so if a person don't don't spam something over and over and over again it's likely I especially if it has nothing to do with the stream or what we're playing like if you're asking me like a really good question sometimes I've covered that question or explained in the intro I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take everyone the 200 people watching live and then the 10,000 people watching the, the YouTube video. I'm not going to start talking about something that has nothing to do with the stream or something I've already explained before for one person. I'm not going to do that. If there's a really good question I haven't addressed, I'll try to answer it. But especially if you're asking me about a different game, I'm not going to, I'm not going to answer it. Um, out of consideration, uh, I'm not being selfish, not being lazy, it's out of consideration for the other 9,999 people watching this. That's first of all. Um, what I'll often do is I'll time a person out. If they're spamming a question about a different game or something irrelevant and they keep on doing it again and again, especially they're going at Fry'em up, 
you know, they're trying to get my attention, which is very annoying when I'm, I'm trying to look at the chat and, you know, and someone's just doing that a lot. Um, I'll just time them out. They can come back in 10 minutes and they'll kind of hopefully have at that point gotten the hints. You know what I mean? They'll just sort of understand, play. Like, maybe I shouldn't have been spamming that thing. It's no big deal. It's not because I'm mad at you. It's not a punishment. I just want a way without disturbing the entire stream to communicate that, hey, please stop spamming. Um, so, yeah. I think that answers your question. Uh, this brain and the do damn. Do damn things. So let's just keep ramping here. Keep our other ramp alive. Uh, and we had six this turn, so plus seven, eight. That means we have a dragon. This is ridiculous. Just ramp package, man. It's huge. Thank you, the amazing Tomo. Welcome to the Fry Uh, dragon does get the job done here. It'll kill this four, six. We lose a little ramp, but that's okay. And this man decides to concede. So yeah, it's nice to do again the go nuts. I'm really happy the deck is winning without go nuts. That's probably the the key to go nuts is not rel relying on it. Similar to the way that the key to a Valk deck is to have another way of winning other than just Valk. You know, the key to making it consistent. Do -do 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 so we have one, two. That's pretty good. Uh, let's go nuts. Uh, dish the cob cannon and look for some more early game with the sims. This looks like a lot of really neat options here. So we're always gonna sunflower. I guess I'll do this on heights because the team up, we don't want it getting hit by a laser base alpha. Really, it's the only thing you have to consider when you're playing against HG or Super Brains. Heights versus ground is do you want this to end up getting laser based eventually? And I think the team ups the answer is definitely yes. Yeah. So it's interesting. You know, we have two plus two next turn for the go nuts. I'm going to go with my gut and play around beam me up and just play the mix nuts and take the 4-4 four, four, ready. Yep, I know that was also me taking way more time <laughs> than they needed, but I wanted to maybe. It's good to go over the ground rules for the live stream. I love doing this in front of a... I, I, I could record this on my own, you know what I mean? I've gotten used to talking to a camera <laughs> for the last eight years. If I ever lived in a place, by the way, that did not have good internet, uh, that is almost certainly what I would do. Ooh, we should play around Leap. So if he just leaped there, like he might have a physical leap to unfreeze this. Maybe we'll play around that. Do, 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 do. All right, that's a little bit weird spending team ups without the gonuts on the board, but that's what we're doing here. There's the beam me up we've been playing around, and it's nice to see that we're not really losing that trade. The cattail will grow again, which is awesome. Uh, no, we'll get something later. If we could go with this, I'd consider it to keep this because it'll grow an attack from the gonads, but we good. And that's exactly what we wanted to see was a little one drop. Yoink. But actually, we're not ramping, so. How do we do this? Three, one, one, I think. pretty cool. Now we've been a few leaps. We could end up getting the train. I should have frozen first there, right? Uh, yeah, that's a lot of damage though in lane 3. Set up teleportation zombie, but didn't leave any brains over. So, to leap or do anything. Alright, I guess I should have known he didn't have leap there. Because he played a gravestone. And now we're just neatly right up to brain Anna turn with this huge board. And him having teleportation zombie is an advantage, I think. Because... Oh, wow. I could actually... Spray Nana's really strong. 
But he, I mean, this could end up being a huge gravestone. Honestly, if it is, it's not worth it. Let's just make the smart play. This is essentially going face. It is a big gravestone, but like, what does he freeze? Freeze the 5-3. That probably won't make a difference. We're probably hitting him for 5, propping a block for 3 and winning in 5 now. Yep. <laughs> so this, this was like, this wasn't the right freeze. The right freeze was here because this one's hitting. Or this one. But yeah, that's game. Uh, so we're 5-0 and with this deck somehow. <laughs> the, the bets are already yes. I, I set the bar low, but it looks like this deck is pretty good. Honestly, that was a ramp go nuts game with Brainana as a finisher. If we're actually Brainana didn't do anything, it would have been better if I had played the other the other uh, would have been better? Yeah, the other go nuts I think would have been a little better. But this deck is the, the, the ramp to, you know, Rose things and the go nuts are actually working very well together, which is nice. I like the Super Brains matchup because he doesn't have the smaller removal. They're able to just recklessly play all these <laughs> flimsy cards and it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll just keep this hand with two gonads in it against Super Brains. Let's go. So the answer is yes already. I will award the prize. Dun, da da dun, 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 dun. Uh, yeah, we can punish that with Twin Sunflower. I think we'll we'll develop the Sun Heights here. Move the Fire Rooster down. Brainana is so toxic. I agree. I I do agree. I, I run Brainana in every every Smarty deck, but it's super freaking toxic. I think Brainana should just say something different. It should say like the the opponent, the zombies can't play tricks this turn. I think that would be more fair. It would be slightly better. It would be two brains better against exactly Gentleman Zombie or a Gravestone in a Nebula, but it would be a worse against Teleportation Zombie in Environments. It would just make the... It would re retain the... You know what I'm saying, guys. Retain the thing without being a major problem. Uh, which one do we want to have more attack? It doesn't really matter. Maybe we'll spread the love a little bit. That's a really strong board. No, not line dancing! Oh. Damn, I should have maybe thought about the line dancing zombie there. Yep. At least we're still getting five and still the ramping a little bit. Let's see if we can get another little team up here. <laughs> Probably better card if he has smoke bomb or anything like that. Do a new bets? Will I get to eight and zero? All right, that's the bets. Will I go eight and zero? Yes or no? And you guys got one minute. You guys got two minutes to to, to vote. Two minutes, guys. Do it fast. Counting this game. What is this going to be? It's pretty good. Uh, I should get blocked here. That's the good news. I really like that twin sun for the, the sunnier shroom. I think it's going to ramp to dragon now. So this is awesome. It means we don't have to worry about that next turn. We can drag in more strategically instead of in one. And yep, it's dragon time, babies. <laughs> How is this deck doing this good? That's actually doing better than I thought it would. That's crazy. It's got to be dragon, right? Then we can bring Anna in one next turn to prevent that. But I really want all this damage going face. It's uh, getting very close to lethal. Yoink! Yes! <laughs> Stupid corp. Come on. I'll pull that stuff off here. I guess just bring Nana in one no matter what. 
Um, Brianna one is good. There's also a cop cannon play to be had. This is obviously dead. Poor, poor, poor chap. I mean, the, 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 the Tomb Raider then hits and makes a guy and blocks one of these lanes. All right, well, let's just bring down This is a good enough trade, but both of these are good enough trades. And then we'll probably the block one we'll next turn with another banana. That means we can cop cannon something next turn. Yoink. Yoinkies. Maybe cop canning this one? Actually, roll the one. What the heck? Na 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 na. Bruh. <laughs> what do I do here? This curve is so awkward. We can only play either these or this. Uh, it, there's probably a pogo in there somewhere, right? I guess I'll play you. Here? It plays around freeze and keeps the dragon alive, I guess. Good enough. Oh, yeah. It buffs everything, too. Uh, b -b 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 bonus attack. Nice try. Go face! <laughs> I'll kill the dragon. Kill the dragon. But I think we win now. Wait! No! He, well, no, he kind of won because the dragon kills the chemist. No, there actually was a way to win if the chemist had one more health there. But yeah, now this is lethal. I, th I was thinking, like, bonus attack, hit, and then super brains to one, but it would have been dead by then, by the time he blocked. <clears throat> Alright, so we're 6 and now. <laughs> with, with ramp go nuts. <laughs> I'm singing the, uh... The, the song Dance Till You Dead, Dance Till You Heads Will Roll. That's what the name of the song is. Ramp till you go nuts. You first stream. Nuts will roll. Nuts will roll. <laughs> nuts will roll. The worst lyrics in the history of lyrics. All right. Two. Three. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea how we're going to play this against Immortisha. I guess she'll commit teleportation zombie. <laughs> commit teleportation zombie. It sounds like something awful. Um, but yeah, you got to take out the cheese cutter. I'll do that brainlessly every time. Thank you, by the way, Polly Foxify for 13 months. Yo, first stream? How are you... How are you subscribed for 13 months if it's your first stream? You just change your name. That's what's up. It doesn't make sense. All right, I guess we're gonna go with this strategy again. Maybe. Well, yeah, playing our own acid rains. Now he can summon your bats into this. It's okay. It's better than doing into this and killing for free. Huh? <laughs> nibble, 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 nibble. Nibble, nibble, nibble. All right. Just wait. This is go nuts, not mixed nuts. I'm getting mixed up. That's me. So pass. <laughs> hands a roll. Hands a roll. Pass. It would be better if you were Johnny Cage. Is that his theme song? Cancel roll. <sighs> How do I do this? <laughs> wow, wow. Oh, snap. That dragon kind of changes everything. Because this will be turned... Oh, I got to commit one of these now, right? Looks good to me. We got to get the, the dragon, man. Turn six is coming. That's why you freeze first. It can sometimes change everything. See, this guy thinks the one to extinction event is the laser cattail. Little does he know. God damn it. 
He's probably gonna pass here and I'll just brain Anna his Tushy. Brain Anna and one, let's go. Could you pass, please? See who play. Got him. <laughs> Toxicity at its finest. Brain Anna. I should play block cards. I, I agree. I'm gonna do it, man. Young kitties, young kitties. Well, he already used two extinction events, so it makes this play feel a lot safer. Yoink, yoink. Should I do this? I don't think I care about the brain in any. I probably should have spread the go nuts around. Don't get Wee. And damage. Yeah, the go nuts should be in two separate lanes, but it's okay. Eh, it doesn't matter. If he's gonna teleport something in, he'll kill a Gonuts either way. Bats. <laughs> Problem is now he can kill Gonuts and block the, the main source of damage coming in. Dragon and Brynana are carrying a second. I'm not, I'm not gonna argue with that. That's completely true. Is it turn 8 yet? I think that was turn 7. Did we have some ramp on the field? I'm getting very confused. No, it's it's natural turn 8. Time to rock this man's life. <laughs> Time to utterly destroy this guy. Let's go. And then he'll play something next turn and then we'll cob cannon it and win. That's the plan. Just Zamba, Dry Zamba. Dry Zamba's not bad here. <laughs> uh, Dry Trickster's not bad here. Uh, well, the suns don't really matter, so I guess we'll keep the one with two health, right? Yoink! Uh, we should get six more here. It's interesting how we're viewing the Twin Sunflower. It's more expensive, but it has two health. Like, adding attack to something with two health is good. No. We're getting a little bricked with these ramp guards, unfortunately. Play another extinction event and play this one instead. I don't know. Teleport. Oh, it's Zombot turn, isn't it? Zombot trickster hybrid. I I smell Zombot. It smells like Zombot in here. Uh, that works. Woo, so it's an eight. So he always wins the trade. That's crazy. That's a good play. <laughs> Better than Zombot. I don't know. Not really. Can we get something useful? Wow, this actually makes us able to win this game now. Hands a roll, hands a roll. So how do I do this? We probably need to start going phase. I mean, I can prevent the 8 damage and keep the banana around. It's not terrible. It's not a bad plan. Alright! This is what we shall do. I can't afford the 8. 8 and 3 means it's almost lethal and we blocked. Uh, we really need another dragon to have a chance of winning this game. <laughs> wow, the no voters are feeling good right now. This game is tense. We have a huge card disadvantage, as you can see. Could really use a top deck dragon right now. No! <laughs> That's the worst thing, bro. And he gets this back. I guess dra uh, Dragon would have saved us, but we're so done now. Edward Soda. Got wrecked. It's something that happens when you run all the little, the little uh, team ups. You can just get wrecked sometimes. All right, guys. The answer is no for the for the eight and no. We'll play one more game. As promised. That can happen. 
That can happen really in any time you're running like RAM package. Just you draw all that. Really, that's like RAM package is like really, really good. And the, the games we lose is because we draw all the ramp and nothing else. Too bad, man. <laughs> No 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 Uh super brains should be an easy win huh Let's set these up into the not well didn't actually have to do this one The ant swat. Ant swat is now. <laughs> guys, you guys. I don't know. We could have frozen there. Maybe it's better. say I can see to anyone below rank 10. Whoops. Yeah. Doesn't feel like a rank 10 though. I'm just gonna play this one through. I don't know. <laughs> and you can see it's Friday night. I'm, so... I'm just gonna do this one through. The bets are already settled. The only, only thing that really matters. Come on. I don't know what I'm saying. This guy's going to beat me. I don't know, guys. I don't think you know. Do you want to know? Do you want to know? Yoink! I'm not afraid of you. I'm just hoarding superpowers. Watch him play Viking right now. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. We'll have to freeze the Viking. Space time! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very clever. The good thing is that Weed Whack locks up both this and the environment, and then we just ignore it for the rest of the game. That makes me so happy. So, we have 2, 3... and 1. Alternatively, we can play the Go Nuts. Do you want to know? Do da 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 I think because the go nuts can go here next turn, or the dragon. Well, eh, it doesn't really matter. This player, we'll do it like this. Get the laser cat tails developed. It's been playing on curve. I got it's okay. Da -da -da -da. You da -da -da. So bonus attack kills the uh, the card. Wait! Wow, he kills everything. <laughs> this guy's a PVZ expert. Putting that play together so quickly. Good play, man. This ain't no rank nine. This is someone who has the cards clearly, and he he didn't play for a while. This is someone coming back after a hiatus. Da 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 Let's just bring Nana in one. <laughs> wow.
Uh, we got a freeze, right? Well, this guy's got to uh, roll three and a two and get an undying pharaoh to win here. Could you roll one, please? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, do we mog this? Yeah, we have to. Because now if he blocks, he's not going to be... It's not going to be the comeback of the century. Impost trois. Zero cost amp coming in. Dang, we're at six health though. This isn't feeling very good. We could lose this one, man. To the rank nine. Because of that block. That was, I think that was the California one. No, no. Not like this. These laser bases are brutal. Oh, okay, here we go. That's some top deck madness right there, man. How <laughs> trickable my ass. My, ass, my big Jewish ass. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's guaranteed lethal in a big way. Bye, untrickable minion. Bye, untrickable. Doesn't even matter. Worst keyword in the game. See ya. Have a nice time. Got him. All right, guys. That was that was the <laughs> that was the best opponent right there. Right there. That wasn't us breaking. That was him actually killing us with laser bases, man. All right. Seven and one. That's definitely going on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoy. I think this is legit go nuts. You know, again, I think the two go nuts deck has been either a three nut or a dragon as a different wing condition. This worked. It really came together well. The ramp with the go nuts and with the with the with the late game, the the rose toxicity. <sighs> all right, guys. That is gonna be all. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.